Oh, where have you been? You almost missed the tech news. If you have an Apple device, iPhone, iPad, iPod, or even a Mac, you need to update your software right now as Apple, along with the US government cybersecurity agency, is warning that a vulnerability has been discovered that has most likely been actively exploited. So a little bit of an L for Apple users, I guess. Apple users like to brag how their phones and stuff are way more secure than Android, which is definitely not always true. So this particular vulnerability that has been discovered is able to give hackers the ability to take control of a device's operating system as, and it affects everything all the way down to the iPhone 6S era, uh, Mac OS Monterey, as well as uh, Safari browsers, Big Sur, Catalina, basically a whole bunch of stuff. So please just update your software. NVIDIA's GeForce Now game streaming service is being upgraded to support resolutions of up to 1440p as well as 120 FPS on Chrome and Microsoft Edge, so now you can actually play semi-competitively. So previously, the web versions of GeForce Now have been limited to 1080p and 60 FPS, which you know, it's kind of old at this point, particularly the 60 FPS thing. You know, I personally, when I went to high refresh rate and stuff, I really couldn't go back. Uh, so definitely having the high FPS to go with that is super great. YouTube will now leave a watermark on a YouTube Shorts video you download. So they're sort of going after the users that just repost stuff to TikTok. Now, to be honest, YouTube probably just should have done this uh, before. So basically, you know, TikTok was the big vertical video platform way before YouTube Shorts. And what you would actually see on YouTube Shorts all the time when it first came out is you would see a ton of TikTok watermarks because when you would actually download a video from TikTok, it would put TikTok watermarks all over that video. So basically, when somebody reposted it to YouTube Shorts, you're just promoting TikTok. So now YouTube is sort of reversing that uh, because a lot of people make YouTube shorts and then I guess they download them and upload them to TikTok. So now they're sort of going to be getting some free advertising that way. Uh, personally, I post to TikTok and YouTube shorts. I don't really know why you would want to download stuff. I guess if some third party is downloading content from someone, it, this might be a factor. But yeah, you know, it is what it is. Uh, decent feature for youtube i guess uh, you know it's not helping the consumers in any way but it's probably good for the platform snapchat is giving up on its pixie drone just four months after launching it so no more cool floating camera snapchats for you so yeah i guess uh snapchat was just trying something out and now they're just like yeah uh it's not gonna work out so this thing was 230 dollars uh, it could like take Snapchats and stuff, which, you know, I don't know. Apparently it would just sync to Snapchat. I would much rather have a drone. I could just actually like take the footage off of, or, or you know, if it would sync to Snapchat, sure, that's great. But I would also just want to be able to take footage, you know, off of it without, you know, Snapchat being sort of the middle layer. So uh, now they are just getting rid of this and uh, just moving on. It's sort of like... Uh, if anybody remembers the Snapchat sunglasses with the camera back in the day. And lastly, we have a pretty interesting story. So basically, luggage of some person has been stolen, but that person had an Apple AirTag in there. And basically, that led to the authorities finding the baggage, finding the person that was apparently handling luggage at the airport uh, and who stole about 16,000 US dollars in luggage and you know they uh comprehended him I guess uh so yeah you know I mean personally I think Apple AirTags are really cool <laughs> you know I mean obviously uh there's some privacy concerns you know uh, Apple can sort of uh know uh, <laughs> exactly where you are all the time but I mean for something like luggage and stuff, I think this is definitely a fantastic device. You know, just like don't use it, deactivate it, put it in like a metal box when you're not using it. But if you're traveling, you know, putting this uh, in one of your bags, into your luggage, stuff like that, very, very useful. Thank you for tuning into the daily tech news. Come back so that eventually we can indeed take over the world.